A city councilor is now calling for the feds to investigate former police chief Ray Schultz. It's all over Schultz's questionable dealings with Taser when he was chief and now while working for the company that has made millions off the city of Albuquerque. On special assignment tonight, Matt Grubbs shows you how Schultz may be breaking the law and how something could be done about it because of KRQE News 13. Former Albuquerque police chief Ray Schultz is a fan of taser body cameras. He's shown off video of a knife-wielding Orlando Paisano and from fired APD officer Connor Rice. Ray Schultz parlayed his experience into a job as a paid consultant for Taser International, and he has been using city logos, employees, and video in his presentation. This is a slideshow Schultz used at a Taser-sponsored conference in Australia last month. It's shot through with images from APD, including the Paisano shooting and the Connor Rice tasing case. We asked the city if Schultz sought permission to use APD photos and logos to help him do his job. We got an email back saying Schultz didn't ask the mayor's office and that city attorneys have since told the ex-public servant to cut it out. Earlier this week, News 13 showed you a string of emails between a taser rep and Schultz, who was still at the helm of APD at the time. Schultz boasts that he'll, quote, have the ear, unquote, of the mayor and CAO Rob Perry even after he retires. He tells the rep what his last day is and says he'd be happy to help the company as a consultant. Finally, the longtime lawman says everything has been, quote, greased, unquote, for a $2 million taser body cam contract scheduled to land in front of a city council committee. Republican city councilor Dan Lewis has seen Schultz's emails and watched his slideshow. He now wants city and federal investigations into the no-bid contract and Schultz's job. Innocent until proven guilty, you know, but you know, certainly in this case it looks to be uh, like there were possibly um, some violations of that ordinance having to do with undue influence. City law bans Schultz from representing Taser in any Albuquerque matters for a year after his retirement. But the mayor's office says Schultz isn't representing Taser in dealings with the city. I think the city is wrong. Vicki Harrison of the nonpartisan watchdog group Common Cause wonders how the retired chief could, quote, have the ear of the mayor and not be representing Taser. The materials that you have clearly show that there was some sort of quid pro quo going on. Ray Schultz refused to sit down for an interview, but sent us an email saying he didn't break any laws by, quote, doing contract work for Taser, unquote. The ex-chief says he asked for permission to use an officer's photo from his successor, Alan Banks. He didn't say whether Banks granted it. Schultz did say it's now gone from the presentations he makes for Taser and that his, quote, greased email included what he termed a poor choice of words. The kind of judgment that that takes to use that really makes me question what else is going on. A handful of rank and file cops are under the federal microscope and some may face criminal indictments for excessive force. Dan Lewis says justice and accountability shouldn't vary according to rank. I believe that the leaders of APD should be under the same kind of scrutiny that some of our officers are right now. Lewis suggested that the United States Department of Justice may need to look into the connections between Schultz and Taser. And on Friday, the counselor sent a letter asking for a formal investigation by the city's inspector general. Copies went to Mayor R.J. Berry, his second in command, Rob Perry, and the city council. On special assignment, Matt Grubbs, KRQE News 13. Of course, APD also bought hundreds of Taser guns during the Schultz era. The DOJ report bashed APD for the misuse and overuse of Taser guns and ripped the department for failing to punish cops who do not turn on their lapel cameras.